All right, guys. I got the little quarter inch. Um, I'm just taking a guess um, that it's uh, in inch pounds, not foot pounds. So I'm gonna, I'm starting off with 10 inch pounds. That seems like a lot. That's weird. I'm gonna loosen them because that seemed a little weird to me that it didn't go off sooner. go might have been off a little bit now I'm gonna go to twenty inch pounds That wasn't a lot. So all right. Shit. It's already. Right, there we go. <sighs> so this is good to go. Next thing I gotta do is I believe is a new oil pump. Oh, no Ese güey está especial, güey. Es especial, no, no lo hice como todo. Fue el único que hice así. A ver si, a ver si te gusta. Ah, bueno. Ahí fue. No te caería. Ahí hay, ahí hay como 4 litros. All right, guys. So, all right. So, what I ended up doing, I got this oil, the oil pump on. Pretty simple. It's pretty much goes right in. I used this to torque it down. I went around 18, 18 inch pounds, give or take. And so that's where I bolted it down to. On the sheet that I was reading, I don't know if I was reading the wrong spot, but I said foot pounds. There's no way it's 18 foot pounds on these these small bolts. The freaking head bolts are 22 foot pounds. But I got this on. Right now I'm gonna start getting the um, get the gasket for the cover on, and then uh, yeah, pretty much we'll flip this over. I'll get the oil the oil pan. I got a low profile oil pan for this um so that's what's going to be next and then uh, we'll go from there
All right, guys, getting the timing cover on. I ended up using some gasket maker behind the gasket. So I put it on the motor and then I put the gasket on, kind of centered it. And then I put some gasket maker over the top of it. So from the back side and the front side, and then I put this over the top is what I ended up doing right now. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna tighten it real quick with this. Um, right here. And make sure you just put the, the, the bolts in first, just so you have everything. Nothing crazy. Oh. There we go. There we go. I'm just going to hit it with my hand real quick. Like I said, I just hold it, my wrist right here. And then give it a nice little... There we go. Nothing crazy, these 10 millimeter bolts don't need them much. There we go. So that's good. So now what I gotta do is just flip this around. I'm not gonna put the heads on just yet, just because I freaking, I wanna, I need to clean this up. I need a razor blade and I forgot I'm at home. So let me go ahead and Flip this around, and but we'll be back in a minute. And let me just put this back in so we don't lose it. But yeah, we'll be back. What up, guys? Today we are doing the oil pan that I ordered. Um, just wanted to, I, mine didn't come with any freaking instructions or anything, eBay special. Um, so these bolts that it comes with, obviously there's four, so kind of common sense, but I was kind of like, man, I wish they would have had instructions to how, how to put it in. So they have these four bolts, obviously this, they go in here, then the two gold ones, like I said, I'm guessing they go right here. There's a, there's a flat spot, so I'm guessing it goes at the bottom because it has a, let's see. Oh, that sticks out. I'm guessing that's how it goes. Um, but yeah, these two, and then it has a little metal gasket in between. I'm going to tighten that up. Those four bolts. What I thought was kind of interesting. <coughs> Let me see that. Is that um, I already put the, I don't even know what the hell that shit is called. Whatever it is, I put it in. Um, it comes with those, the hex bolts right there and right there. But I already put this in to test fit it. It sits flat. A lot of people, um, it seems like a lot of people are cutting out the, the windage tray. They cut it about, I don't know, right there, give or take. I'm guessing it's because, um, 
Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing it's just because it, it's too tall or it doesn't let this close properly. But mine, let me go ahead and pause you guys real quick and I'll be right back. Oh, that should be fine. All right, so. in mind this is without a gasket and it lays pretty stinking flat right there that's about where it's supposed to be um but yeah check it out super stoked this looks sick already with this thing on here um so let me grab the i'm gonna grab the camera real quick that way you guys can see uh. all right guys um i just took out the obviously i took off the windows tray they're 13s there's one two three four five there's nine i think Let's see one two three four five six seven. yeah there's nine um and then just wanted to go over this right here let me Go ahead and just get closer. So this is the old dipstick. I freaking just cut it off, but pretty much the way it comes in is uh, it just has that O-ring right there, and I'm um, it just presses in. So hopefully mine has this. Um, I just took a hammer to it. This is where it sticks inside the oil pan. Just took a little rubber mallet, tapped it really uh, didn't take much and it came out it goes this is the passenger side you just i don't know if you can see it right here it goes in right here and that's it if i would have known that i would have just done that from the beginning so yeah you don't have to take off the window shade for that i was thinking maybe there was a bolt in the back of it um i don't know but either way it got done um, doesn't take much to get the, um, doesn't take much to get that off. And then, get the new one. Made in China. <laughs> All right, here. Well, see, I have to buy these separate, but here's the part number for the, the dipstick and then for the actual tube. Um... I don't know if I have it, but at least for the dipstick, that's what it is. The one, two, six, six, nine, five, two, eight. Um, oh, and it does have that uh, O-ring. So, just gotta find out how it is gonna go in. Wondering if I should just wait until I get the I actually get the freaking because I don't know where it's gonna align. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna hold off. I'm gonna probably put the heads on first and see how it goes, and then I, I should be able to push it in from there. So let's hold off on that. Just grab the windage tray and have some of that. I'm just gonna clean it real quick.
And then for this oil pan, um, I believe it's five and a half quarts is what you put in. Just in case you guys were wondering. go so there we go and then let me grab Another thing, hopefully it doesn't leak. I uh, I tapped it right here because this was not flush. It was a little off. So when you guys are doing the uh, freaking uh, timing chain cover, make sure this before, it, if you're using silicone like I did, make sure this is aligned. Just grab a, a flat edge and make sure this is flush. So I kind of messed up. I tapped it with the rubber mallet and was able to drop it. So hopefully I don't have no issues. So um, I'm just going to risk it and hopefully it works. If not, then that's going to suck. the hell all right guys so right now i'm getting the gasket all centered i got this i got this all bolted down um it's important right here that you get these four corners right here right here right here and right here because it could leak from right there so just make sure that um you add enough silicone that it's not going to cause you issues so that's currently what i'm doing right now just adding some more silicone to this just like that go ahead and center it there we go 